Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Localhost Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways to mount a hard drive to Home Assistant. For this guide, you will need to have root access to your operating system. If you are in a supervised instance or watch my last video for Home Assistant OS, you should be good. I'm going to show you two ways to mount a hard drive. One method will be using a UDEV file. The second will be using FSTEB. UDEV can be set up in minutes and will automatically mount hard drives to Home Assistant for you. FSTEB takes more work to set up but will allow you to specify your mounting location. If you're using Frigate, FSTAB is the way you want to go. I'll start by showing UDEV first, which is quick to set up and allows plug and play of USB drives. The setup will be similar to my last video on uploading the authorized key file. You're gonna wanna follow the steps on this webpage with a few additions. Copy the GitHub link which contains the UDEV file. The file is well commented if you wanna look at it and read what it does. Here I am at the top of the page. I'm going to select raw, I'm going to copy everything, and paste it into VS Code. Note, if you're using a Raspberry Pi and a USB drive as your boot device, you will want to modify this file. Usually the boot drive will be mounted to SDA1, so head on down to line 50 and change this A to a B. This will prevent Home Assistant from trying to mount your boot drive which would cause issues. My Raspberry Pi, however, is using an SD card to boot. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to an A. Now we have to change our line breaks and encoding. In the bottom right, select the CRLF and change it to LF. In the bottom right again, select the UTF-8 and change this to ISO 8859-1. Now we have to save it. To save the file, I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my USB, labeled Config in all capitals. This needs to be saved in the UDEV folder. I'm going to go ahead and create that now. Now I'm going to go ahead and label this file the same that it's labeled on the GitHub page. Let me go ahead and go to the GitHub page and copy that name. Popping back into VS Code, let me go ahead and save that. Now you need to save this as no file extension. So go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, no extension, and save. And with this, our UDEV file is ready to be uploaded to Home Assistant. Let me go ahead and switch over. For this segment, I'm going to alternate between two videos to show off UDEV. I've uploaded the UDEV file using the same process I used for the authorized key file from video one. Here I have a USB hub plugged into my Home Assistant instance. I laid out three USBs. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the first one, then check out Home Assistant. With the USB plugged in, it only takes a second or two to mount. I have the terminal open, and I'm going to list out the mount location. We see the drive is mounted to Mount, Data, Supervisor, Media. When I refresh the page, I should see the folder present, and it's there. I'm going to move on to plugging in the second USB now. OK, I plugged in the USB. Same thing, going to refresh, and hopefully we see the folder there, and it is. OK, I'm going to repeat this process one more time with the third USB, and hopefully we see the folder C present. OK, one last refresh, and we see the folder is present. I'm going to bring up PowerShell to list out the drives, and we can see that they are indeed mounted. Now if we try to look inside the folders, we'll see nothing is in them. I went ahead and put a file on each USB. But to fully load the drives, we're going to need to reset Home Assistant. I'm going to go ahead and head down to Configurations, Settings, and Restart. This is going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward here. OK, I'm going back to Media Browser. Inside of the drives, I have put a file that corresponds to their mount points. SDA1 has SDA1.mp3. SDB1 has SDB1.mp3. And same thing with C. The reason I did this is to show the downsides of UDEV. I'm going to unplug all the USBs, then change the order. What we will find is that the files no longer match their mounting location. 
If you're just loading MP3 files, this is fine, but if you're using the drive as an automation or configuration, UDEV would be a bad choice to use. If you label the partition, not the drive, the partition, it will mount to the same location name every time. Here I have all three drives unplugged. I'm going to change the location of the drives so that B is now A, C is now B, and A will be C. Okay, I'm back in Home Assistant. I just finished restarting. Remember, after unplugging a drive, you have to restart. I'm going to go to Media Browser, and if you look at SDA1, you can see it now houses SDB1. SDB1 houses SDC1, and SDC1 houses SDA1. You can see the downside of UDEV. Let's go ahead and take a look at FSTAB next. To begin, we have to remove the UDEV file, which isn't hard. Here I am inside of my Home Assistant OS. To remove the UDEV file, just type this command. And that's it. The UDEV file is now removed. For this next part, I'm going to show you how to mount a hard drive to a supervised instance of Home Assistant. I tried for hours to get an automatic mounting method for Home Assistant OS where you could specify the location. I spent hours trying different methods but couldn't overcome the limitation the OS imposes. If you have a method of automatically mounting a hard drive to Home Assistant OS where you can specify the mount location, leave it in the comments below. The crux of the matter is that Home Assistant OS doesn't allow write operation on its system files. I tried using systemmd through the docs provided, but I couldn't even get that to work. You can still manually mount a hard drive to Home Assistant OS, but upon restarting your Raspberry Pi, the drive would lose its location. You still can restart, like shown earlier in the video, but still, manually mounting isn't an ideal solution. If you're running a supervised instance of Home Assistant, you can make this automatic. And I'll show you how to do that now. So here I am on my main Home Assistant instance. The first step to use an FSTAB is to make sure the folder you want to mount the drive to exists. I'm going to mount my folder to user share hasio since I'm using a supervised instance, media, and music. Once you know the folder you're going to mount to exists, next you should list out your drives to find the drive you're going to mount. We can do this by running the command ls block. Now we can see all the drives connected to my computer. We have SDA, which my computer boots from. We have SDB, which is where my frigate stores its recorded clips at. And we have SDC, which is going to be the drive we're going to use to mount for this example. Once you've identified the drive that you want to mount, go ahead and do sudo block id, blkid, pipe that to grep, and enter the drive that you want to mount. We're using SDC in this example, so I put that at the end. Go ahead and copy the output of the command and paste it into a text editor. I'm going to go ahead and use VS Code. I'm going to go ahead and paste the output and start a new line. Copy the UUID and paste it onto the new line. I'm going to remove the quotation marks. Now we need to put where we want to mount the drive. Like I said above, I'm going to mount mine to user share hasio media music. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. We can see from the output that my drive is ext4. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the next part of the line. The next three properties are going to be pretty much the same for all drives. If they were going to be something different, you would know and probably wouldn't be watching this part of the video. It's going to be defaults with an S at the end, zero, zero. With this, we're now ready to use FSTAB to mount our drives. I'm going to go ahead and copy this line, hop back to my terminal and do sudo vim etsy fstab 
And you can see I already have a entry for my frigate drive. I'm going to go ahead and hold the down arrow to go to the bottom. And once I'm at the bottom, I'm going to hit O to go into insertion mode and control V to paste. I'm going to hit escape, semicolon, W, Q, and hit enter to save. With this, our drive is now ready to automatically mount when we start up. But first, we should test it. So I'm going to go ahead and do ls block to list out our blocks. And I'm going to do sudo mount a. This will test to make sure that the line we entered in fstab is correct. OK, that will mount all our drives. So let's do ls block one more time. And we see the drive has mounted correctly. I'm going to go ahead and unmount it. and print out the blocks one more time. And we can see it's unmounted. I'm going to go ahead and restart my computer. And once the computer comes back up, we should see the drive has automatically mounted by itself. So I'm going to clear it. I'll go ahead and fast forward here, but I'll go ahead and do sudo reboot. OK, my computer has restarted. I went ahead and logged in and I see that the drive has automatically mounted. So we know we are using FSTAP correctly. Time to recap. UDEV is quick to set up and allows plug and play of USBs. You only need to set it up once and all USBs will be automatically mounted from that point onward. The downside is that unless your partitions are labeled on the USB drives, they will mount in the order they are inserted. If you're only using one drive, this isn't really a problem. But if you're using two or more with automations, this could be an issue. FSTAB requires a supervised instance. I wasn't able to get it working despite really working at it. If you know a way to get it working in a Home Assistant OS environment, leave a comment below. FSTAB is also more technical. As you saw, there are a few steps in getting FSTAB working for each drive. And something is more likely to go wrong versus the UDEV method. The advantage, though, is that it allows us to specify what drive we want to mount and where we want to mount it. And finally, and very important, test your FSTAB file before rebooting. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you found it useful.